in this video we are going to learn about big blue button platform so big blue big blue button is a new platform which is a free and open source uh, software and for this big blue button there is no need to install any application so only using the link of the class classroom you can uh, use your web browser and you can join into the online classes or your video meetings now if you can see in whatsapp i have got a link from my colleague so here is the link so you need to copy this by press and hold it for two seconds then you need to paste this link in your web browser so it's better to use google chrome browser so i, I have opened google chrome now so in this search bar you need to paste the link long press and hold and paste it then search for it or press enter so once you click on enter you will be redirected to the big blue button interface and here if we can see under the home room you need to type your name in the space and click on join once you click on join it will give you two options as it's saying how would you like to join the audio so there are two methods here one is microphone and one more is listen only listen only is nothing but only you can listen to the audio of the faculty but you are not able to interact with your faculty and if you want to interact you can use the microphone option where you can listen also and if you want to talk if you want to reply you can use the microphone option now I'll click on microphone button so once you click on my microphone button here in this window if you can see there are two options one is yes and one more is no so if you are able to hear your audio then click on yes and join the session I'll click on yes now so this is the big blue button interface welcome screen you can see so here it is saying welcome to big blue button and at the bottom side of the screen you can see five buttons two are in blue color and three are in white color the second button if you can see this is used for mute and unmuting and the fourth button if you can see it is for sharing the webcam and in the same way the last button fifth one is for raising the hand so you need to click on human icon this is a toggle button to see messages notes users so in users there are two users now one is faculty and one more is me and in messages you can share your messages whoever is there in the meeting so it is called as public chat so now I am posting a message in in public chat and the same button is used for uh, moving back to the main screen that is welcome to big blue button you can see I am switching from this screen to my main screen using the same human icon button once I click on the second button you can see you can uh, speak with this option so I am unmuting now and I am able to speak or interact with the faculty so I am muting now again so you can see you have joined the audio conference so once I click on fourth button so you can see I can share my video in the session so it is asking for the permission so click allow then here you can see I need to just click on start sharing so it will get some time to load so now you can see my video is sharing in the session so I'm stopping it now and if I click on the last button which is hand raise button this is same like uh, the uh, physical classroom hand raise so suppose if any student is having doubt so how they uh, raise their hand in classes physical classes in the same way 
we can do it in the virtual classrooms also so once you click on that the hand will be raised and again if you click on that it will be disabled so here you can see the presentation screen so if I click on this minimize button it will be minimized and again if I click on the bottom side of the screen maximize button it will be maximized so now this is maximized and here here you can see the presentation uploaded by faculties now if you can see three dots at the right hand side of the screen so if you click on that you will get some different options like uh, you can see leave meeting settings make full screen so these are the uh, options available so once you click on settings so you can see from here suppose if you want to change the application language you need to click on this part and then from the drop down you can select the required language so I presently I'm selecting Canada and click on save so once I click on save now you can see all the interface is changed in Canada so again I'll press toggle button so here also you can see it is changed to Canada so now I'll make it default as it's in English so if you want to choose any other languages you can choose it from this drop down so now you can see it is changed to English so again I'll click on this three dots and click on leave meeting and you can see you have logged out of the conference thank you